It is main event time here on High Octane, and you hear the crowd inside the FSW arena going crazy for their man, Kevin Cross. Well, they're bipolar, aren't they? We are. say the fans are bipolar. I mean, let's, let's, let's establish that, that they just, you know, they hated this guy. Yes. And now they love this guy, and he really hasn't changed anything about himself. Not really, no. Okay, so why do they like him all of a sudden now? Well, they feel he's one of their guys, homegrown talent. Good, but on the other side, a man that you have been a fan of from day one, mm -hmm. and since we have first seen him in FSW, he has gone on to be a major superstar yep. in TNA. I knew he would. And now he has a different name, but he is still the same guy, Eli Drake, mm -hmm. inside the FSW arena. As you can see, a capacity crowd to see a great matchup here inside the arena. Can we... Can we agree that over the course of time that I've been working with you, Joe, that I'm a pretty damn good judge of talent? Yes, you are. I am. I, I can see things in people like I can see in the future. You know, like I can see when, when certain guys have those certain things that will resonate into becoming superstars. Okay? And I've been very vocal about these two men in particular. Yes. Over you, the course of time. You know, you've missed on a couple, but in the majority. Well, who have I missed on? Well, uh, for example, the Remy Marcel, which we don't need to bring what, up during what? this matchup. He's had great success. You're not a fan of his. Okay. But I think it's more of a personal beef that you have with him and that you feel that he copies you. But getting back to this match, this, this is a big match. Eli Drake, he's a former FSW heavyweight champion mm -hmm. and an elite champion. And, of course, Kevin Cross has been on a roll. He has not been pinned or submitted. He's closing in on Russia's record, Disco. Why is this match not at the MGM Grand Garden Arena? on the undercard of like a Conor McGregor fight or well, something. you know, it should be, and that's why this was a, a great value for the FSW fans to see this marquee matchup. And for some reason, they don't show the same respect that they do for Kevin Cross as they do for Eli Drake. Uh, no, they don't. You know, it reminds me, Joe. Um, this is this is not our, uh, let's just call it a spade a spade here. The, the school shows here, they're not our A-list arena. You know, we go to big, we do big shows at the local casinos here in town. Correct. The Silverton, Sandstown, big, bigger shows, obviously, yes. right? But this does remind me of the way, like, an organization... Oh, look at this. It's just disrespecting Kevin. Is. The way organizations can treat loyal fans. Now, I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? And used to go to the Atlanta, the Omni. Yes. In Atlanta, one of the most famous arenas. Absolutely. And you know, that place would sell out 15, 16,000 strong. But I also lived in Cobb County, Georgia, and they used to have shows at the Cobb County Civic Home of the Center. Boss Man. Home of the Big Boss Man, right. Yeah. Part, part, part of the directions. But they used to have shows, there was a small arena, it's like 3,000, okay, the Cobb County Civic Center. Out in the suburbs, out where I lived, and you know, it was a B-list show, five matches, you know, but every once in a while, you know, like once a year, you know, they would have like, you know, Tommy Rich versus Abdullah the Butcher. And look at that, Kevin Cross answering back with those slaps to the back yeah, of the head. Yeah, so it was like a, a treat to the fans that we would get like a match that would main event in the Omni. Correct. And we would get it at the Cobb County Civic Center. And it would be standing room only like we see here tonight yes, we, we at had, the school. Yes. We had reserves through the roof. We had mm -hmm. to add uh, some front row seats. Uh, in front of our uh, announcing area that uh, we generally didn't do here inside the FSW arena. And I want to make a point, okay, about things you deal with on a constant basis here at FSW with um, with egos, okay, and people that have never never really you know, done anything in their careers yet that have perception of value. Yes. Okay. Delusions of grandeur. Delusions of grandeur, okay. Now, they'll probably sit there, you know, we'll have these school shows, and we won't have standing room only. Because a lot of these guys, what? They, they don't draw. You know, they don't right. draw they, they're, like, they're working their way up, and maybe someday they will be doing but, that. But, but they think they are big Some stars. Some do, yes. Right, so they do. But now we see we hear what we have here. Two guys that actually do. Two Goliaths. Two Goliaths. Two guys that actually do draw crowds. Okay, and like in pro wrestling terms, I want to tell the fans they watch. This is what we call a draw. These guys are draws. That's right. They draw fans. They draw audiences. They draw people to watch a show. And this is what every wrestler should try to become. Try to become a draw. That's do right. the things necessary to become a That's draw. Right. There's, there's people that are standing because mm -hmm. there are no more seats available right. to watch. And, and again, the rest of the show, uh, a very good show. Right. But the main event is a main event. This is why they're here. 
you know, yes. you will see that at, at a major casino. And right now, you know, you got Kevin Cross, you got Eli Drake. One thing, Kevin Cross, was, it reminds me a little of Mike Tyson in the early days. A lot uh -huh. of people are afraid just when they stepped in the ring that already made them lose. Yes. Because of the... Because uh, they think he'll snap. Exactly. Yeah, they think they'll get hurt, you know? While Eli Drake, he's been through all the wars. He's been in TNA. He's been up and down the circuit for years. There's no fear in this man. No, of course he, not. in his mind, believes he's better than Kevin Cross. Yeah. And I bet you he's probably been down there. You know, he was in... Um, he was in the WWE developmental. He was probably beating up guys you see on TV on NXT uh, exactly. and WWE today. You know, he was down there with, with the Kevin Owens and the Sami Zayn's and the Barry Corbins. You know, he probably held his own with those guys too. So Kevin, to, to be honest, a guy like Kevin Cross, the perception in Eli Drake's eyes isn't like the perception in, in like the, the regular FSW roster guys' eyes. You know, Correct. he's not scared of Kevin Cross one bit, but maybe he should be. Possibly, that's right. And a reversal by Cross. And look at that, over wow. the top. You know, and Kevin Cross in a very short time ha has made a major name for himself in the business. You know, Global Force Wrestling, uh, Jeff Jarrett, you know, we talked many uh, many a day about him and Sanjay Dutt, and they see that they see that this guy may not only be the future but the present mm -hmm. of, of the wrestling business. You've had conversations with your good friend Conan, mm -hmm. and I know you've uh, Conan, you know, me and me and Conan are at odds right now. Is that right? Oh yeah, we're, he's been saying negative things about me on the MLW radio well, shows, and I'm doing a podcast with is that. Uh, right? well, yes, and I'm going to have him have to mention these things. He's got to say the man to man to me. That's right. And Kevin Cross, while he was at WrestleMania, uh, your boy Vince Russo is looking to have him on his podcast mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah, and him and Ed Ferrara became friends somehow. Yes. I don't know how that happened. Yes. Ed Ferrara makes me mad. Is that right? Yes, he does. He's always made me mad. And right now, you can see these guys. There's no give and take from either man. And one thing about Eli Drake, here is a guy that we knew was a major leaguer, but when he returned from his stint with NXT and his time in TNA, you could see he's even stepped it up even more. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I'll be honest with you. You, you notice in this match, I think Kevin Cross is uh, maybe almost giving him too much respect so far. You know, if there was odds in this match, I, I think they would be messed up because the odds would probably have Kevin Cross as a pretty good favorite, but this is really more of a, a pick-em kind of I match. Don't, but, uh, but the smart money might be on Eli Drake. You, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Factor, right? so it's, a, it's an interesting matchup, matchup, and I'll tell you what, from watching this match so far, Kevin Cross is feeding right into Eli Drake's hips. He's, he's, he's basically, um, you know, he's having tentative, a... Tentative, too. Very well, tentative. he's having a... This match is very scientific so far. You know, and I don't know if that's really what Kevin Cross, his forte is because his, his, uh, what, 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 what's the word I want to use? His arsenal basically is to run right through you. Be a killer. You know? Yeah, to just know, seek incredible. and destroy. Seek and destroy, you know? I mean, like, let's be honest, so, you know, Kevin Cross is not going to destroy Eli Drake with a headlock, is he? He is not. And, and right now, they're just trying to get position and yeah. just trying to get this little advantage. And oh, right there we now, go. That's, this is what he's got to do. Yeah. Hit him a nice, hard. A nice release suplex. One, two. He didn't hook the leg. Did not hook the leg. Kevin Cross a little off this match here. I think maybe it's, uh, he's got a lot going through his head, but he and there were the guy love Eli Drake's experience. Because he's making a couple, look at that. Wow, oh, big mistake. Big neck breaker yeah. by Eli Drake. One, two, and Kevin is able to kick out. And again, normally in this type of matchup, Kevin Cross, he could talk and he yeah, could talk, Ooh, and all of a big sudden, knees right to the side of the face there. You know he can't out talk Eli Drake. Eli no. Drake has an answer for anything Kevin Cross throws at him. Oh, well, I, 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 Joe, I'm going to say it right now. I, I think that what we're seeing in this match, there's a possibility that Kevin Cross is a little intimidated by Eli Drake so far. Would you say so? Well, well, this, is a, this is a former FSW champion and one of the top competitors that's ever come through FSW. Without a doubt. And you he's know, not, He's not like he's washed up. Uh, he's still in his uh, prime. Absolutely, prime he's, of his career. Yeah, he was, we, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of talking about him like in the past tense almost, but, but here he is right here really handing Kevin Cross his ass right now. He is definitely taking it to him. And the crowd trying to get behind Kevin Cross, you know, you know, there could be many different reasons. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, an FSW arena show. Maybe the uh, the juices weren't as flowing in, in the beginning for Kevin Cross. He's coming through the big curtain, the big ramp. Right. And and, and maybe uh, 
he, he didn't expect what he's getting so no, far. Because, some, well, let's not forget. Uh, Eli Drake was a regular here at FSW and a champion, okay? He's kind of gone his way, and he's not as much of a regular anymore, but that doesn't mean he's lost a step, does it? No, absolutely. He's got, wow, he, look at that. He's just got a much bigger schedule. Yeah. One, two. And a lot more experience, right. actually, if you think about it. You know, it. he's traveling all over the world. It's look at like, this. Wow. He's really giving it to him right now. And the right hand to Holy Kevin cow. Cross. Have you, Joe, what is going on? Have you seen Kevin Cross take a beating like this lately? I, I definitely have not. Wow. And I, and I don't believe it's underestimating. I think that Eli Drake had a game plan from the minute this match started. Yeah. And he took it right to Kevin Cross as Cross was trying to maybe feel him out and that backfired on Well, I'll be honest with you. I mean, he's made it, this, he turned this into, this is a basic wrestling match so far, okay? And Eli Drake obviously does have more experience in a classic wrestling match than Kevin Cross does. This is only, this is Kevin Cross's second year in the business. Eli Drake has been around for how long? Yeah, at least eight to ten. Eight trained, to guess. You know, trained with Les Thatcher and HWA, who were just coming off. Really, being Les, Les Thatcher. Yes. You can see a lot of the Les Thatcher strategies in this match. Uh, Cody Hawk was the head trainer, and uh, who also trained Dean Ambrose. Wow. So he's gotten his. Look at uh, this. You know, he's he's been in there with the best of the best. Uh, Eli Drake, as I almost called him by his uh, past name and now especially in TNA being a part of uh, a stable with Drew Galloway and then turning on him. Yeah. You know, he's had some great matches. Boy, he's really taken he's, he's taken the crowd out of the match too, if you noticed. Oh, they're getting they're getting with him now. And look at that, he's just wow. stomping away the boots to the midsection and Kevin Cross has no answers for Eli no, Drake. He does not. And the one thing about Eli Drake is he feeds off the emotion of the fans cheering for the other guy. How many You're, days has Kevin Cross been undefeated here at FSW? It's well over 700. I don't Joe, know the I'll exact tell you amount. What, this really is getting a feeling of like a Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm type situation, doesn't it? Absolutely. The FSW title is on the line. One of the biggest matches in the history of the FSW wow. arena. And Eli Drake... You know, you could be calling it an upset. Maybe hey, it is, maybe yeah, it isn't. I mean, from what I've seen so far, maybe we would have thought it was an upset, but it certainly doesn't look like this one right now. And they're trying to get under the uh, skin of Eli Drake with the you can't wrestle chance as he's pounding away at their hero. Well, that's not the most uh, impressive chant at this point because all he's been doing is out wrestling Kevin Cross so far. Whoa. And uh, Kevin Cross looking for, oh, and look at that, Eli Drake, he holds on. Wow, and a big neck breaker. And he is working on it, one, two. Wow. And he has really been uh, focusing on the neck of Kevin Cross, who we know many months back had it injured, but has it fully healed. Well, it looks like the clock is ticking on the toll man right now. His uh, time might be, uh, might be uh, coming up here at FSW. Ooh. And just not quick enough as Eli Drake is able to stick the elbow up. Oh, oh. But the swing and the miss. As Kevin Cross needs to mount something to get back into this match. And the reversal by Kevin Cross. And Kevin Cross, could this be the start of something with the big knee? And then the knee to the midsection, and it looks like he is calling for it. As right now, oh, a nice kick to the sternum of Eli Drake as Kevin Cross has found that second win distance. Yes, he has. He knew they wouldn't be able to keep, Eli Drake wouldn't be able to keep him down that long. Cross. Oh, he went for the Saito. But he has scouted it well, and look at this. Good reverse, a good counter. Going for the book of Eli. Look at this. Oh, and he, oh, reversed, he reversed it. it. One, two. No. no, a two count. Wow. Great maneuver by Kevin Cross. It looked like it was going to be all said and done. A new heavyweight champion here in FSW. And Kevin Cross at a desperation disco. And look at that. Eli Drake slithers out of the way. Oh, nice kick. And right now, Eli Drake starting to feel it. The big blows coming from the heavyweight champion, Kevin Cross, looking to set up the big knee. And look at this. 
Wow, what a reversal by Eli Drake. One, two. two. And it is amazing, Disco. Every time it looks like Kevin Cross is ready to do something to maybe put away Eli Drake, he has an answer for of Kevin Cross. Of course he does, because he's probably scouted this guy. He's a vet. He knows the deal. And right now, both men. <laughs> It has taken its physical toll this matchup. Has, has Paulie Corver finally found his man to beat Kevin Cross? You know, he has been searching. And look at this. Kevin Cross perched on the top turnbuckle as Eli Drake. Ooh. I think he's taking his time because also uh, he, he's a little winded himself, Disco. Yes, he is. And we've seen Eli Drake set guys up. And usually it Ooh, sets nice. him up for something where he's going to climb to the top as he is doing right now. Oh, we're going to see a big superplex here. Take the wind right out of Kevin Cross. Wow, big shove off. And right now, Rick, Eli Drake not sure where he is. And look at this. He is trying to hold on. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. And wow. It, and it looks like Eli Drake landed right on top of the guardrail. And look at Kevin Cross. His knee might be torn up. Holy cow. Has Eli Drake lost? What's the word I'm looking for, Disco? Uh, Eli Drake lost his balance. There you go. Eli Drake loses his balance, goes crashing down. But right now, Kevin Cross is not in a position to take advantage of the situation. No, because he twisted his knee on the on the top rope, it looked like there when he came down. And it looks like Eli Drake, he is grabbing the belt. What is he doing? From the hands of Grab Pauly Cover. Oh, Pauly Cover, what is he doing? And Pauly Cover is yanking yeah, back the he belt. Does, he doesn't want him to get disqualified, that's smart. What is Eli Drake doing? Trying to get himself disqualified? You're not gonna win he this wants, match. He wants to see a winner, and it looks like Kevin Cross has now got him set up. And there it is, the Doomsday Saido. One, two, three. Wow. Boy, what happened to Eli Drake with a meltdown there at the end of this match? He went up to the top rope, lost his balance, lost his way, tried to grab the belt for some inexplicable reason, got caught out of position, and Kevin Cross got him. You know, maybe the fall got him concussed, Disco Inferno. Uh, who knows, like, but Eli Drake, what a terrible error there at the end of this match, my goodness. But look at that, Paulie Cover being the stand-up commissioner, didn't want the match to end in a disqualification. Yeah, because he knows that Eli Drake wasn't gonna win the belt by disqualification.